Uh, I'm Lindsay from 93X, talking to Tim McElrath of Rise Against. Tim, thank you for uh, making some time for us. I know it's been a whirlwind of like, what, 48 hours now? Oh my gosh, it's kind of like, it feels like the first day back at work for me, because like we've been like a while, you know, since we've done anything. And so doing a lot of this press has like been, and doing it in this way, you know, because I'm used to going to radio stations or being on the road at, at about this time of our cycle. So it's all... Now I'm just pushing buttons, you know, and then all of a sudden I'm boom, I'm in your living room. It's new to me too. So I normally I can get nervous in person. Now I just do that behind the scenes and I press play. So we're good to go to promote your new album that you just announced uh, yesterday. Um, mm. Nowhere Generation, your ninth studio album from Rise Against. Yeah, the ninth album. It's pretty, it's pretty crazy. I didn't think we'd be around doing nine records, but here we are. Look at you, man. You've done it. You've done it. I just want to thank you for your time, man. I know it's not, it's, we're, we're in a time strain right here. We got to uh, get this baby rolling. Um, um, I guess we should pick up where we left off in 2017 with Wolves. Um, that was your last studio album. You did a, a huge tour to go with it with Deftones, if I remember. Yeah, we did the Deftones tour. We also did a tour with AFI after that. Um, we had a, a blast on, that, on, that, on those runs. We toured around the world. We did all those things. We wrapped up in probably early 2019. We put out an acoustic record, the Ghost Note Symphonies. Um, we did like five shows um, around America to support that. And then we've kind of started working on the record, doing a couple of shows that we opened for the Misfits in LA and we did the Riot Fest show. And we did a small show in Colorado uh, to support our studio. But aside from that, 2019 was really just all writing the songs, you know, getting the stuff ready and then hitting the studio probably like last winter, like for like 2019, 2020. We were. See, that was my question. I'm like, was this a product of uh, quarantine or was this before? I saw an Instagram post of you ice climbing in Banff, which is where my honeymoon was. We missed Very each cool. other by like a week. Banff ah, is amazing. Can we just really cool. time? That's awesome. I know. Yeah. Banff is one of those places where you drive. I drove through it for many times on tour and thinking, I've got to come back here. Like, I've got to come back here, bring the family, and finally I did it. Um, but, yeah, so that was – yeah, actually, so that picture you saw, that was right in the middle of us tracking. We went home for the holidays. I spent New Year's up there. And then we – early 2020, we were still tracking. So, yeah, the answer to your question is a lot of this was actually done before the pandemic, um, most of it, in fact, um, which was interesting because as we were going to put it out, you know, it's, we were putting out a record that was, like, that we had made before the pandemic, but so much had changed in the world at that time. And then we were talking about putting out a record. We always meant for it to be like a pre-election record, but then we were looking at being a post-election record. It's like, well, that world's gonna look different too. And who knows what it's gonna look like even, you know? And so there are all these things kind of factoring in. And then now that it's finally coming out, as I look back on it, I'm really proud of it. Cause I think that Rise Against, one of the things that we've avoided doing is really, Try not to sing about, like, how do I put this? Try not to sing about, like, the symptoms that we're dealing with, but more sing about the underlying causes that cause the symptoms. You know, we're singing about the actual disease. And so, like, the ideologies that created the problems of the pandemic and the ideologies that created a really, um, a really tough election, you know, and a lot of partisanship in, in America, those ideologies were there before they're going to be thereafter, and so a lot of the things we're thinking about, the they won't go away in a post-pandemic world. There'll be things that we still need to address, and so in that sense, the record I think had a lot of relevancy, and it's sort of like, it, for me, like it's taken on like a patina in a way, like it's sort of it's lived and it's grown through this year, and now that it's finally coming out, I'm really um, I'm looking at the songs in a different way, like this song specifically, like Nowhere Generation. I feel like it's hitting at a time that I think is more effective for it to hit than it would have been even like a year ago or even six months ago. You know, I always said like 2020 is the sum of every Rage Against the Machine song, right? Like, right, like right, yeah. so I'm like 2021 may as well be Rise Against. We've all been waiting. We've been following mm -hmm. the clues to Nowhere Generation. Here I am clicking around, you know, all the social media pages on Rise Against. I'm like, what are they teasing? And what does it mean? So uh, I got I got pulled into that too, and I'm just so excited to see Nowhere G Generation due out uh, June 4th, 2021. Um, yeah. You're 20 years in the game now. I wanted it's crazy. to ask, right? 
Uh -huh. um, I don't know if you have the same consultants that we do here on radio stations, um, but they're telling us that, you know, Generation Z doesn't consume entire albums. Generation Z doesn't want to hear what you have to say about the music. They just want um, little tidbits of information, move onwards, move onwards. So I wanted to ask you, what's the value in making an album in 2021? Uh, and that's a good question. I think there's, you know, like you said, there's lots of data out there that I'm sure you can get into and like figure out what people are doing and what they want. And, and for us, I think that, you know, we've had those conversations or we've been a part of those conversations about where the album fits in the future. And I think what we, what it came down for us, it was like, we're just going to keep doing what we do with this is how, this is, this is what we know to do. This is how we know how to do it. This is what we grew up on doing. And it's not really like a, I don't think of it as like a, we're just going to, you know, dig our heels in and, and be us and old grumpy men making albums. I mean, it like in a way of like, this is Rise Against at its best. Like Rise Against at its best is making an album. I want it to be a whole story, you know? And if people are going to listen to it, cool. If they're not going to listen to it, then that's, that's something too. But it's not really going to change the way I make it. You know, even going into the studio last winter i remember the guys in the studio that we worked at before the blast room in, in colorado they were so excited because they don't really work on a lot of records these days they work on a lot of individual songs you know eps like here and there singles and they were so excited to like do it old school lock down the studio for a couple months and just work on one cohesive album and there's some magic in that and like i'm not i and yeah i think the magic like i have a 16 year old daughter. So like, I know how teenagers are <laughs> ingesting um, music. And like, I, if, if she makes it through a song, it's, it's kind of a miracle, much less like an album, you know? And there's like, I remember having a conversation with her and she was doing like a, like a, one of those like Spotify rewinds where it tells you what your favorite song was of 2017, you know? Yeah. And she was named, telling me her, oh, like, look at this was my favorite song in 2018. I remember that song. And I was like, cool. And she put her phone away. And I was like, who, who sings it? And, I, and she was, what? I go, who sings the song? And she was like, I, I don't know. And I was like, you just said it was your favorite song. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I don't expect you to know the, like, the answer to every single song on the radio, but that was your favorite. And you don't even know off the top of your head who sang it. And it was kind of like, wow, that's how disconnected like, like scenes I, are from some of it. I always feel like... a a, like a tinge of like shame at the end of the year when they're like, this is your year wrap. You're listening to the same music you did 10 years ago. I still have the local H pack up the cats, you know, over, <laughs> right. and, over and over again and rise against. So mm -hmm. um, I still consume your music in its entirety. Uh, the fan, awesome. the fan that comes mm -hmm. to you. I mean, the, the, the black market got me through some uh, trauma to me. I, what I wow. took was trauma. Um, mm -hmm. I was going through the loss of my brother to suicide. So I'm oh, um, sorry. Yeah, man, the black market got me through it. And, and Wolves wow. took different incarnations. So I think where we're at with Nowhere Generation is, you know, um, healing for the next chapter, you know. Um, as you mentioned, these, these different generations that are consuming the music in different ways. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully you find the people. Um, generation Z, Generation X, which I, what are you? Are you in between? You're one of those in-betweeners. I was just looking up. I'm, so I'm Generation X technically. Uh, I was born in 78, so I'm like, right, I'm like, well, that makes me one of the youngest Gen Xers, I think is what, is what it does. So it's yeah, kind of, but it also falls in the in-betweeners if you like, if you were really, depending on what you want to believe, so. We grew up with the, out, out the internet and with the internet, which, you know, brings us to our, our, our this, this new album here with Nowhere Generation, obviously 93X is in Minneapolis, um, mm -hmm. 2020 was a significant year um, for activism especially here in the city. And um, how do you think Nowhere Generation fits in with the 2021 climate? So Nowhere Generation came from a lot of my interactions with the younger generation, younger people who listen to this band, people that are younger than me. Like I grew up in a time of relative political stability, economic stability. Um, I grew up in a time where you kind of could expect that if you were put in the hard work and maybe you go to school, that like the job and the house and the savings account would all be waiting for you. You know, and that was something that our parents kind of uh, found and was supposed to carry on to the next generation. And when I heard a lot of the anxieties and complaints of the younger generation, 
Um, you know, the, the advice that I feel like I started giving was the advice my parents gave me was like, well, just pull yourself up by your own bootstraps and, and put your nose to the grind and burn the candle at both ends, you know? And then I realized like this world is changing. You know, these kids are up against new and improved obstacles, you know, that we all swim upstream to get where we want to go. But something about this stream seemed like it had been manipulated by a number of different things. And when you're seeing that manipulation in the rise of the 1%, you're seeing it in concentrated wealth, you're seeing it in the decay of the middle class, um, you're adding in climate change and our response or lack of response to it and the anxieties of that. And then just for just for kicks, let's throw on social media and add gasoline to the fire and all the things about we're supposed to live up to these lifestyles and be this person. And, you know, we're supposed to have a side hustle. We're supposed to make our hobby, our, our a, a money-making endeavor, all these different things that I think like are just being thrown at this generation that I don't, that I all of a sudden that was hitting me like, this is so unfair that we're doing this to this whole, this whole generation. And it's also, I had like a, a new sympathy for it, you know? And I realized too, like, I'm, I'm going to step away because my advice comes from a different generation, you know, like nobody wants to hear it. It's dated, you know, like to get, to get out of this is going to take new, there are new problems. They're going to take new solutions, you know? And that's kind of where the song No More Generation came from. It was like this, almost like this olive branch, like, I'm finally listening to this. Like I'm hearing what you're saying. I see what you're going through. I see how it's different. I see how you're starting to see a world that no longer rewards hard work, but is instead rigged to kind of benefit the few. So that's where like the whole thing kind of came from. Social media is a necessary evil, especially since we're all working from home. I know you, mm -hmm. you are more of an introvert and you're fine in your creative element at home. Um, mm. I'm supposed to be an extrovert and right, right. <laughs> I've enjoyed my time at home. I'm like, this is fine. I like mm. doing this with my dogs, um, <laughs> and to promote an album in a new way. I mean, kudos to you guys, 20 years in the game and you're still killing it. The ninth studio rise against album, uh, the ninth studio album from rise against. And that's mm. what we get nowhere generation due out, uh, June 4th. I'm so excited for you, man. I hope we get to see it on the road. Yes, we are making plans. We're diligently waiting for the lights to go back on. And when they come back on, you will see us. So we'll be there. I'm thrilled, man. I'll be there. I'll try to fight my way to the front row. I miss doing that. Like, try yeah. to get out of my way. You're six foot four. <laughs> Louise, Louise Please I got to get up front to rise against, Please man. Do. We miss you so much. Thank you for your time. Nowhere Generation, new rise against due out June 4th. Well, thank you for all the love and support. We appreciate it. Yeah, man. Can't wait to see you soon. Love you so much. All right, cool. <laughs> Thanks, Lindsay. Bye.